Hey, Popeye, at the latest. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. Now, in today's journey, we are at Petersfield in the parish of Westmoreland. We are at Indian Jerk and Curry Restaurant. Throughout this video, we are also going to be talking to the owner, attorney at law, Mr. Michael Erskine. And I must tell you this we here at Popeye News Links, we are endorsing this venue. So if you want to host any type of event, whether it's birthday party, baby reveal, wedding or wedding reception, a repass, or you just want to go out and eat some good food, or you want to have a drink in a nice environment, you have to check out this venue, Indian's Jerk and Curry Restaurant. Now, later on in the video, we are going to be talking to the owner, Mr. Michael Erskine, as also his son. Stand by for that. So today, we have two very, very interesting stories for you. Trust me when I tell you, you are going to want to listen, both of them, to the very end. These two stories, <laughs> trust me when I tell you, I can't make them up. You are going to see why I keep on saying the mayhem continues. Stick around. But yesterday, I made a comment and I said, not even the dead yard are safe and about two or three persons commented and they were asking what is a dead yard now not only jamaicans listen to this channel so for the persons who don't know whenever someone dies in jamaica there are at least five major events surrounding that death first there is the candlelight vigil it's normally about nine days after the person has passed at the candlelight vigil, persons will lay a candle and you might have play a little music and fry two fish and drink some liquor. The next major event is the grave digging. Wherever the person is going to be buried, that day, persons come out. They dig the grave, eat, drink, talk, you name it. So that's two events. The night before the person is buried, that is what is called the dead yard. Persons come out. Whether it's a gospel band or persons come out and play music. But that is a major night when most persons come out to celebrate the life of the person. The next event is the next day. The funeral day. We all know about funerals. Now, after the funeral, you have what is called a repast. Where food is served, as also drinks, persons talk, and then they go home. So it's five events. It's planned when someone has died in jamaica i don't know about anywhere else so i hope you get a better understanding the dead yard it is the event that is kept the night before the funeral all right now if you look on your screen i am not gonna be removing the logos from the photographs two of these photographs they are courtesy of this is a blast on instagram make sure you check them out if you are an ig user Trust me when I tell you, this is a blast. They are the best on IG. Now, there are three photographs on your screen. The man to your left, his name is Dominic Hey, He was 29 years old. The man in the middle, his name is Deron Slowly. He was 34 years old. And the man to your right, his name is Clayton Kenroy Warren. He was popularly known as Johnny and he was 33 years old. These three men, they are from Capturland in Pitfour in the Granville Police area in the parish of St. James. Now, all these three men, they were very good friends. They were all in the chopping game. You know what I mean? Yeah man, they were in the scamming game. Now, there is a fourth person involved. And I won't show this person's photo for reasons you will understand as we go along. The man whose photograph I can't show, his first name is Gary. He's in his early 30s and he also lives at Capturland in Pitfour. Some time ago, we are learning that Gary and Clayton Warren, popularly known as Johnny, they were allegedly held by the St. James police with an illegal gun. Both of them they were arrested and charged by the police and they were placed before the Western Regional Gun Court. 
We are not sure about the outcome of the case, but we are getting unconfirmed reports that they were granted bail by the court and was awaiting a trial date. That is not yet confirmed. Now, remember we told you that all four guys, they were good friends. But, you know the saying, there is no honor among thieves. Some scamming money was not shared right. So, there was a falling out. <clears throat> we carried a story last week, Saturday, May 7th, 2022. We told you about an incident that took place the night before. Friday, May 6th. 2022 about some minutes close to seven o'clock in the evening it took place at pit four in the granville police area in the parish of st james we told you that dominic hey he was standing along the roadway in pit four right in front of a shop when about two or three hoodlums they came out of some bushes and pounced on him it is said that these hoodlums they were armed with m16 rifle they opened gunfire at Dominic, hitting him in his head, killing him on the spot. The hoodlums, they ran back into the bushes. Now, persons who lived nearby, they came out to investigate what had just happened. Among the group who came out to look was Gary and Deron Slowly. You remember that we showed Deron Slowly's photograph. So Gary and Deron Slowly, they came out to investigate. They made checks and they were heading back home when they were ambushed by the same hoodlums who had just killed Dominic Hay. The hoodlums, they opened fire on the two men, hitting both of them. Gary, he received gunshot wounds to his neck. We are told that Gary, he is still in hospital. And Deran, he received gunshot wounds to his head. Both Deran and Dominic. They died as a result. The hoodlums, they then made good their escape. It was immediately theorized and even concluded by some persons in the area that this attack was organized, if not carried out, by Clayton Warren, popularly known as Johnny. Johnny, we are told, he was a person of interest in this matter. So you know what's next? <laughs> you know what's next? Yeah, man. Dirt for Johnny. Johnny couldn't get away. So, Johnny, because he and his friends had a falling out, he had relocated to a place named Hermitage Housing Scheme in the Betteltown Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. But, <laughs> if it's one thing I know, you know, hoodlums, they can hide from the police. But they can't hide from hoodlums, especially if they were friends. <laughs> you agree with me? Yeah, man. Them can't hide from police all them want. But them can't hide from them cronies. So, yesterday morning, Saturday, May 14th, 2022, about some minutes after 10 o'clock, broad daylight, Johnny, he was riding a bicycle along Tangerine Street at Hermitage in the Betteltown Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. When our information is that a black Toyota Mark X motor car drove up bam 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 how much shot me just fire a while ago 10 eh bam 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 how much more that <laughs> see you never account <laughs> no it's not a laughing matter you know but you see when you carry them stories there sometime you have to laugh if you don't want to cry remember me tell you so johnny he managed to jump off the bicycle and run off but him couldn't reach far he was hit he ran into a nearby yard where he collapsed and fell and that was it it is suspected that johnny he died on the spot johnny he received gunshot wounds to his head his chest both hands and his left foot the hoodlums they made good their escape in the same Toyota Mark X motor car. Now, our information is that when this crime scene was processed, 20 0 9mm spent shells were recovered from the scene. 20. <laughs> the mayhem. The mayhem. So, let me ask you something. 
let me ask on something. Have you hit on the like button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. If you are here watching this video and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, ensure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit on the subscribe button as also hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Now, after that story, may I have to go cool on off a little bit. May I go hear a little bit from Mr. Michael Erskine about this place. So Erskine, all right, tell me about this place. I know a man in India used to run it before and he used to cook him curry. You take it over, you ensure you, end, you, 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 you maintain the name. Tell me what was that all about? Yeah, man, my name. This is called Indian pork shop and it used to do curry, curry and yeah. all of that, you know? Mm -hmm. And then now, uh, 2016, mm -hmm. unfortunately, Indian died. Mm -hmm. right? And I took That's a long? 2016? Yeah, okay. 2016, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then now, uh, we said, why? We have to keep, especially the excellent curry that Indian used to cook, you know? Yes. We have to keep that going. Mm -hmm. And so we'll just expand the concept. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because we want to create a, a, a place mm -hmm. Where people in Central West Man, mm -hmm. you have to go and niggle. Yeah. To find a nice place with lovely ambience and yes. excellent food. Our Black River. Our Black River. Yeah, Mobile. Yeah, you know? yeah. No man, right yeah. here in West Man. Yes. You want to have a nice party. Yes. Children party, big people party, mm -hmm. gender reveal. Mm -hmm. You know. Repass. Right now they have an right agenda reveal. Agenda right reveal right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No. In the final story for today. You're going to want to listen this one to the very end. We carried a story on Saturday, December 4th, 2021. We told you about an incident that took place the previous night, Friday, December 3, 2021, about sometime after 9 p.m. It took place along the Belvedere Main Road in the Betteltown Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. So here is what happened. The Betteltown Police they were on patrol when they heard loud explosions sounding like gunshots being fired in the Belvedere community. As a result of this, the police they decided to check it out to see what was happening. Whilst the police were heading to the community, they saw a motor car coming in the opposite direction. The police they signaled this motor car to stop. It was a silver Toyota Premium motor car and it had four males and one female in it the occupants of the car and the car itself were searched by the police and a gun was found this gun it was found beneath the front driver seat this gun it was a black taurus nine millimeter pistol with the serial number intact affixed with a magazine containing 12 rounds of nine millimeter cartridges as a result of this find the four males and one female who were in the car, they were arrested and charged by the police. The five persons are 1. Romario Granville. He is 27 years old and he is said to be a social media blogger. He is from the Newmarket area in the parish of St. Elizabeth. The second person charged was Beyonce Beckford. She is 18 years old and she lives in the Darleston area in the parish of Westmoreland. The third person charged is Devon Goslin. He is 23 years old and he lives in the same Belvedere area in the parish of Westmoreland. The fourth person charged is Amado Cook. He is 18 years old and he is from Darlistan in the parish of Westmoreland. The fifth person charged and pay attention to the fifth person. His name is Daniel Chin. He is 23 years old and he lives in the same Belvedere area in the Betteltown Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, all five persons, they were charged by the police for illegal possession of firearm and ammunition. They were charged and brought before the Western Regional Gun Court and they all pleaded not guilty. The matter, it has since been put off for trial. Now, here is what we are learning. The other persons who were in the car, they knew 
who the gun belonged to. Remember, they knew who the gun belonged to. Remember now, the gun did not walk into the car. It was placed where the police found it by someone who was in the car. It is said that they were saying among themselves, as a matter of fact, they know, so they were talking about it. They were saying that Daniel Chin, he is the owner for the gun. They never tell the police that. This they were talking amongst themselves. So they were telling Daniel Chin that he must plead guilty for it because a fame gun. Daniel Chin, he decided that he was not going to plead guilty. <laughs> now, we are learning that threats started coming in. If you don't plead guilty and own the gun, your family are going to get dirt one by one. That is the threat that was sent to Daniel. Daniel, he was still holding out. <laughs> so Daniel's mother, her name is Miss Madeline Clark. She is 55 years old and she's a shopkeeper. She runs a little grocery shop along the Belvedere Main Road. So last night, Saturday, May 14th, 2022, about 10 o'clock, Miss Clark she was in the process of locking up her shop when hoodlums struck. Bam, 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 bam. Miss Clark, she was hit and fell to the ground. These hoodlums, they didn't take anything from the shop because they got what they came for. They didn't come to rob. They came to kill. They made good their escape. Miss Clark, she received gunshot wounds to her head from all indication miss clark who was not firing any gun at anybody who was not chopping the line all she was guilty of is being the mother of a hoodlum she died on the spot the police were called and miss clark she was found lying on her back on the shop floor in a pool of her own blood when this crime scene was processed, our information is that four 9mm pen shells were recovered from the scene. <laughs> so let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Only really think this is the end of the mayhem? You think so? The guy knew who was threatening him, you know? Not true. And those who were threatening him, they have family too. Not true. It's not like I'm trying to instigate anything, you know. I'm just being realistic. We are also learning that a lady who lives in a nearby community named Lambs River and who is a very, very good friend of Miss Clark, when she learned about what happened to her friend, she collapsed and died. Sad indeed. <laughs> I'm going to be closing out. Me now go end today by saying the mayhem continue. I could try and end with you viewing this place. And remember me tell you, it is somewhere I recommend to you. Blessed love, everybody. Welcome, people. Here we are at Indian Jerk Restaurant and Lounge. Mm. Definitely here we serve some fantastic, delicious food right here. Ready for it. Right now, see right now, we have on display, we have good old Escovige fish with festival and a roti when we talk about roti we are thinking about indian where indian usually look before in the past, past. Mm -hmm. definitely so we try to do the best the way how we uh, patternize him and make the food nice and proper see there escovage fish just like mama just like indian with nice vegetables the roti and festival over here so now we have we have a curry goat and we tell, when we tell about curry goat you know we not talk about the the female goat you know yeah ram. the good old jamaican ram mm -hmm. yeah man and that served with some nice rice and peas and you can get it with white rice if you want we have roti the same way and uh, and and vegetables yes sir. that is just a piece of that is just a a piece of way we serve here so because you can get your fried chicken, your jerk chicken, your jerk pork, you can get fish 
every, anything you can think of right here. And when we are talking about food, we are talking about home style food. And we are dealing with the right place, right at Indian Jerk and Restaurant and yes. Lodge. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah.